turnaround since, uh, since the Czechia game? I think it was a great session. Um, normally when we have this shorter time between the games and the done recovery, the first couple of minutes in the training is a bit slow to get started, but you need to get that out of your system so that you can feel the tempo again. Uh, we started with doing a lot of tactics in half of the training, and then the second half was all about tempo, because that's going to be the key tomorrow. That's why we play top opposition. Getting into international play, um, play and play the top nations, it's can we match the tempo. It's going to be the number one challenge tomorrow is, you know, can we match the tempo. Before we go into the tactics, how's everyone pulled up? It pulled up well. Um, there's much more availability tomorrow than the last game, which means there's competition for spots. Um, it's going to be a long discussion tonight amongst coaches. Um, not just about the starting lineup, but how we play the game after 90 minutes. You know, when I talk about tournament practice, this is a great opportunity for us as coaches to practice, you know, playing a top up position, second game in a group stage, who starts, who comes off the bench, how can we be best possible over 90 minutes in a game like this? Yeah. Is it the sort of game where you like to, I mean, the second game in the group in the World Cup will potentially be decisive for the group in terms of who finishes top. So is yeah. this the game where you would I'd like to roll out your best possible team? Definitely the best possible team over 90 minutes, for sure. Um, you know, at this, this stage, in the group stage, we, we can't think about you know, the third game or the playoffs. We just need to live in this moment right now in the second game of the group stage and maximize our performance with the players available, for sure. Do you think they'll be in a position to give a better account of themselves? And by that I mean, like, a couple of them said after the game the other night that you know, they were still getting over jet lag and the travel factor and coming from you know, cold England to hot Australia mm -hmm. now. Do you think they can give more? I was impressed how they pulled through in that second half, considering the, the lack of preparation time and the jet lag, but also the lack of playing time some of those players have had in, in club land. I'm actually going to, you know, I'll give you Charlotte Grant's uh, numbers a little bit here. Charlotte Grant has been in off-season, right? She hasn't played competition games for three months. She broke her record physically in the game uh, against Czech Republic because she's been so professional in terms of her individual training, follow the program. So seeing those numbers after the game was massive, you know, because we thought is she even ready for 90 minute competition at international level. The problem then is, can we back that up three days later? Um, that's going to be a little bit, have, some of them are, are into it better now, but some also might have some reactions from the first game because it's a very short lead in. The other thing I want to be honest about, we're going to have to run against Spain. You know, look at every team that's played him over the last, last year. The amount of running you have to do defensively against Spain is massive. And we need to pull through that and then be ready to sub throughout 90 minutes, to be fresh to do it for 90 minutes. You mentioned their tempo before. What was the challenge you wanted specifically from picking them as a sort of stand-in for Canada? I know they're different teams. They what are. What are you looking for that crosses over? I think that the number one thing for us is if you defend individually against the top teams, they break you down. You need to do it collectively. And we, the only way to get exposed is against the top opposition because you, you can't get away with maybe having one player disconnected from a line, another one, then the domino starts to fall. And I wanted to have a really passing, skillful team um, like Spain, which I think is one of the world's best passing teams, to test our pressing game against that. I think we are one of the best pressing teams in the world. I think they are one of the best passing teams can we press against this team still and when we don't they're going to play right through us and we need to get exposed and feel that now so we can fix it to the world cup how, how important is it to get a, a positive answer to that question given you know you mentioned fixing it before the world cup but there's not heaps of time now i you know like, like i said considering where we are right now i don't expect it to be perfect but i want to see similar pictures like i saw against sweden especially in the second half because I think we were really good defensive against Sweden. Most of our goal came from our pressing. And I want to see pictures like that. But I'm also humble enough knowing I watched Sweden play Spain. I watched USA play Spain. I watched Japan play Spain. There's going to be times when it's not going to be perfect because they're too good to be perfect over 90 minutes. But I want to see long periods of really good defending. The other thing I want to see is I want to see a team that is confident on the ball because we have shown as of late that we can also break down teams. If you look at the variation of attack now, we have much more variation in our combination play and our transition game, not just wide play with crosses. There's more, and I want to see that tomorrow as well. Um, you mentioned uh, going up against Czech Republic is like sort of preparation uh, for the Ireland game, but now you're going up against Spain who has qualified and you've played before. 
how differently do you prepare for this game ahead of the World Cup and looking at the previous result? I think the previous result stands by itself a little bit. Um, the one thing we do take away from that game is that we managed to keep a clean sheet for four to four minutes uh, with a very high rotation in the squad. We showed some game management skills that if we need to park the bus in parts of a game to keep a clean sheet, that could potentially replicate. If we're one nil up with 50 minutes to go, that could be a game scenario that we show that we can manage against the best team in the world. Uh, but that sits a little bit by itself. The one thing that Spain gives us now is that it gives us an opportunity to test our defense against the best team in the world because that has to be done by, if you look at the draw, what side we're on, you know, we can face similar opposition that can break us down. You know, England is on our side, France is on our side, you know, all, sorry, Germany is on our side. Like those teams could definitely break us down in similar ways. Um, so in that sense, I think Spain gives us a fantastic opportunity to test our defending.